Hi guys, I'm Andreas from McMainliner with another Vinyl Finds video and some great news! Um, I'll probably put that in the title and um, if you have been following me for a while you probably have heard me quite a few times bitch about the London record shop scene. You know, you come to London and you're like, wow, there must be the best record shops ever in this place and they're not, they're just not. I've uh, all the ones that you probably are aware of. Let, let me rephrase it. They're not my style. They're not my style. I like record shops that have. Uh, there are two types of record shops basically in London. There are the ones that are DJ friendly, so they have like a lot of jazz and a lot of uh, you know soul and things like that, which they are very good at. And I have to admit that, I mean, Sounds of the Universe, fantastic if you're into that kind of stuff. They have very limited uh, selection when it comes to rock music or uh, indie or psychedelic music or any, anything, psychedelic, psychedelic rock music or any of the rock sub-genres. There is none that actually carries something that is interesting or sort of curated and that's that's the main thing even in rough trade where you can find things that are a bit rare and you know off the cuff it doesn't feel curated it just feels like all right you know what we have these labels that you know they're selling us these records and yeah we'll put them on stock and when they sell them then we'll get the new batch in there isn't any feeling of like Oh, you know what? Maybe we should carry this record because, you know, it's it's good. It's sort of, uh, you know, we like it. There, there isn't any such thing. It feels like there is some guy with, you know, uh, a spreadsheet saying that, yeah, well, this sold five, uh, we'll buy two, or whatever. I don't know how they do it. And I found one record shop that I really like, which is very close to me, which is used and uh, it's interesting and it has good stuff and I really like it. And for used stuff, there is, it's, it's, it's a good scene. It's, it's all right. It's, it, it's all right. But I found this place that is actually the kind of record shop that I would open. It's called World of Echo. You know, the name sort of suggests that, you know, there is something going on there. And it's uh, off Columbia Market, uh, close to Old Street, and it's it's very small. It's it's a very small shop. the The shelves are full of records that I would definitely consider buying. The new stuff, and it's they have new and used. The used stuff, there's some things that are very expensive. Um, but they f they are expensive for a reason because you know that they are they're, they're good stuff and uh, yeah the, the, the general feel and I had a conversation with the guys that have it it's like there are a couple of my guesses and uh, I was saying that yeah you know I really like the place and definitely coming back and I told them that that you know this place feels curated and that yeah you know what we carry things that you know can speak about and can get behind and like you know we like it just so happens that you know they like things that I like as well so you know good stuff but um, yeah there isn't any other record shop like that so if you're in London do check them out if you're visiting put them on your list there is uh, they're close to like at least another four record shops, four or five record shops that are in the area. So um, very close by there is Cosmos Records, uh, jazz, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, there is the only metal shop in London, which is all right. It's okay. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I've been there. I've never bought anything from them. Shame on me, but um, I didn't find anything that I sort of, oh yeah, I, I would get this one. Uh, and then uh, there are the shops that are close to Rough Trade, and uh, yeah, there's, there's another three, four that are around the area. 
So anyway, World of Echo, London, highly recommended, really good good vibe to it as well it like it feels like you know it's it, it's taken care of they, they they it feels like the people that are selling the records that care about the records it's it's just one of those things and i bought some stuff there so this is an opportune chance to show you what i got uh this is the first alan vega these are still sealed because i just got them really i just came back so yeah, this is um, from Futurissimo, yes, Futurissimo, the first Alan Vega LP. Um, Psycho Billy, I don't know, it's not Psycho Billy, but it's like Rockabilly, Rockabilly, it's Rockabilly, it's like lo-fi Rockabilly, Alan Vega, just dragged out, you know, down and out kind of feel to it. It's really good. Originals go for a, for a bit of money these days, and uh, I was looking for it when I sort of discovered it like a few years back, and uh, I couldn't I couldn't find it, and then uh, the Shirishu came out, and it was mega expensive. It was like thirty pounds or whatever. It's like what? They had it for seventeen, so I had to get it. Uh, the next one was actually the, one of the first things that I found, like I, I flipped through the first stack of records and I found uh, Max Roach's, uh, this is a reissue obviously, uh, Echoes of Silence, Echoes of Silence? Structures from Silence, Echoes of Silence? I think this is something, something other, <laughs> something completely different. Anyway, yeah, Max Roach, um, New Age, uh, Synth, um, Considered one of the masterpieces of the of the genre. And finally, how do you pronounce it? I have no idea. Uh, this is from this year. I've never tried to pronounce it. You probably know it if you know con todo con todo el mundo, el mundo. Um, what is this? Um, 2018, this is going to appear in a lot of uh, year-end lists of top uh, releases and pff, yeah, it's, it, it's very good, it's, it's like world music, it's like, think of GOAT, but more garagey, I guess, I don't know if that, if that even even it is the, the right sort of way of thinking about it. Really good record though, uh, highly recommended. And I, as I'm saying, it's like, you know, year end, they're going to appear, there's going to be a few uh, mentions of this album. And uh, also, what I, another thing that I bought recently and I'm very happy about is, uh, are these. Ah, Henri Texier. So these are the reissues of Henri Texier's first and second album. And I have been on the hunt for these ever since. You might sort of recognize this, obviously. Uh, because, yeah, <laughs> Fred's um, uh, thumbnail is this cover. Um, my personal favorite is this one, uh, Baresh. Baresh, Baresh. I don't know. I have no idea. But uh, yeah, uh, French bass player, and I I don't know what what to categorize this. This is not jazz. It doesn't feel like jazz. Uh, it feels like I don't know contemporary. I don't want to say classical because it's not classical either. It's it's definitely on on, on a league of, of its own. So anyway. I'm very happy these have been reissued. Very limited run, uh, not expensive at all, uh, which is a good thing because the originals do go for a bit of money. They sound really good. Um, they're not deluxe or anything like that, but happy to have one. I mean, the originals weren't like, you know, anything you know, special uh, in any kind of sense. And uh, I sincerely hope that uh, they are official. Um, I think they probably are. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, five records, uh, a good record shop, a recommendation for London, and yeah, 
I don't know. I will uh, probably make another video at some point um, because the backlog is just out of hand these days. Uh, but yeah, these were like new, new, and I'm getting, I'm, I have I have an order that I'm going to be receiving uh, next week, hopefully. And um, yeah, or uh, maybe I will do a best of. Not best of uh, 2018 because I haven't been following 2018 releases almost at all. But yeah, who knows? Uh, something. Um, there will be something in the works. Anyway, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed. Um, as per usual, like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Uh, subscribe for more content like this and press the bell button and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. Have a good one.